Hello. I wanted to give you a quick update on our Orchard of the Future block over here at Grossmiller. We're looking at some trees that are crimp six rootstock. We planted these trees this spring in the beginning of May, and we're here about uh, the last pot part of October. And they were planted as very, very tiny little, you know, pencil sized trees. And we've got great growth here. That uh, top wire or the wire right above the trees is at four and a half feet. So we've gotten great growth. And when we planted these little trees, they were um, shorter than the tree wrap there. So we've got great development here. And I'm really pleased with how these are growing. Now this block was uh, planted to Regina on Gisela 12, which is a challenging variety and rootstock combination for us because of uh, lack of vigor. But we have uh, an issue here with replant disease. So let's look at the difference here. This row is doing great, but look at the difference in the tree size here, just one row over and down the rest of the block. So you have these trees here, the entire row doing excellent, but look at the difference in the trees here in the rest of the block. They just aren't doing as well. And this is a phenomena of replant disease. Replant disease is an issue where when you remove an orchard and plant a new block, the trees don't do very good. It's a complex uh, matrix of causes. Part of it is bacterial pathogens, fungi pathogens, nematodes, viruses, any number of things. And what we've been doing in our Orchard of the Future blocks to control, uh, to mitigate replant disease, is we've been planting them to uh, cover crop and growing them uh, cover crop and then planting into orchard that has had cover crop on it. But we weren't able to do that in this orchard. This orchard was removed last summer, late summer, and we got the cover crop planted in late fall, probably later than what we should have, or not probably, later than what we should have. And what happened is we didn't get any growth because we had 90 days with snow on the ground here. We had anywhere between uh, one and three feet of snow here for 90 days, and we didn't get any growth of our cover crop. And then we came in here and we planted this block and we're paying the price for that because we were not able to through cover crop being done improperly uh, break the replant disease and have our trees do well here but these trees are growing great so the question is why well let's move here and we'll take a look at the reason so we've moved our locations and we're looking at our Orchard Future block here. The row that's furthest on our left is the row of trees that are doing well. And then we have the rest of the block to the right that's suffering. And you can see why here. The row that's on the left was outside of the old orchard block. The rows that are to the right and down the hill for the rest of the block, those were within the orchard block. And what we did was we kind of, if you can see we're in this neighboring block here, you can see right where the edge of the orchard runs. And then we have the left hand row. We actually cleared that ground. It used to look like this, was just planted to grass and we put trees in there. Now that distance is 11 feet between these two rows. And so you can see that that 11 foot difference makes all the difference in the world because we didn't have 
trees on the left hand row we had trees on the rest of the block and where we had those trees we have a replant situation and just a few feet away we have no replant the results are striking and that's why replant disease is real most folks fumigate if they're going to do anything to combat replant disease we weren't able to do that here we do cover crops as i was saying and so we face these challenges and need to do a better job than what we did here but it's a great illustration of a lesson learned thanks